Kia ora, I'm Andrew. Now, if you live in Auckland and you really love spooky stories, then The Woman in Black, the stage version, is about to open in the city. You probably know the films. The latest one was starring uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Well, the, the stage version promises to be even spookier, and this one stars the very famous Michael Hurst. I trust you're fully recovered from your experience at Mrs. Drabler's funeral. Yes, yes, I have. Thank you. No doubt you're wondering why I'm here. To me, the show is a, a gothic horror. Um, that's what the novel was, that is what the play is, that is what the movie adaptation was and the television adaptation. Um, it's, it's just a classic ghost story translated onto the stage and I think there's something really special about horror theatre because it's the one time you have uh, a shared space with the audience. So everything that happens on stage is happening in the same room as you. No, I... I, I can't give you any help. No, I wasn't thinking that you would do anything personal. Perhaps you have a young assistant. No, no, there's no one. I'm quite alone. I can't help you at all. The show, to me, um, as I as I read it, is uh, kind of an exploration in paranoid terror, <laughs> uh, because um, although it's a ghost play, we always ask where do ghosts emanate from and why they emanate. I don't believe in ghosts, I'll just say, but. Um, I like scary things, and uh, this is a scary play. You see, I had no idea. I don't know whether you did. I, I love this character, and I love this show. And I think I, I remember seeing the professional production at the Civic Theatre, and um, I was just I was in awe of what two actors at the top of their game can do. You know, we see all these big musicals with all these lights and set pieces, dance numbers, but all you really need to affect people is two actors, a couple of props, and set pieces. And this is the second longest running show in the world. It's got to be good, right? You know? I'm obsessed with horror. I really, really love horror. And I think all horrors have a really strong allegory. And they're usually very primal, visceral, uh, ex universal experiences like grief or loss or things like that. And um, I, I really like challenging audiences and making them uncomfortable and presenting them with things that they normally wouldn't be confronted with. Stay where you are. No, this is a ridiculous idea. I should never have come. But you did, however, and you paid me for the day, so I have no intention of not giving you full value. I mean, you guys must be missing uh, some live theatre after after all this time of COVID and everything like that. And sure, you've had Netflix and movies, but live theatre, you just, you can't match it. It's it's there's nothing else like it. And I I tell you what, um, live horror is it, it it's better than than any film you can think of. Even if they've seen The Woman in Black on the West End, this is a very different production. We've stripped things back. It's raw theatre. It's very Stephen Burkhoff, total theatre. It's Michael Hurst on stage with Zane Fleming, and they are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is a small town. Young people leave. There are no openings. A play like this just gives you the chance to, all of us in the room, <laughs> to go, ooh, <laughs> It's a ghost story. I mean, what did you expect? <laughs> you got to, you know, it's a ghost story. <laughs>